An appeals court is ordering New York to redraw its congressional map, and here's why it's a big deal. In the midterms, four seats were flipped by Republicans, helping them to secure the House. But those are now in jeopardy, including our next guest. You can see those districts and who won the Republicans at one and what seats may be in jeopardy, which includes our next guest who took down one of the most powerful Democrats in Congress. It's Congressman Mike Lawler, who joins us now this morning to talk about this congressional redistricting. Congressman, it's great to see you this morning. You're what does well. this mean for your seat in particular? Well, look, Democrats tried to gerrymander New York's maps last year and failed miserably when the Court of Appeals uh, threw them out and ruled them unconstitutional. And they had a disastrous election. We flipped four seats, uh, bringing our total to 11 and securing the House Republican majority. Uh, and since they can't beat us in a fair set of maps, uh, they're back in court trying to gerrymander them again. The appellate division ruled uh, that a new set of maps has to be drawn. However, it's going to go to the Court of Appeals uh, once again. Uh, so this process is going to play out in, over the next few months. Uh, the Court of Appeals will hear the case automatically because it was a 3-2 decision. Uh, and I feel confident that the Court of Appeals will recognize the absurdity of all of this. Hakeem Jeffries' entire play here is to become speaker, and he knows that this runs through New York State. And so they're doing everything they can uh, to defeat people like me in, in a district. Joe Biden won by 10 points. There's 70,000 more Democrats than Republicans. How much harder do they think the map needs to be? Uh, here's an idea. Run a better candidate. Have a better message. So, so to be clear, though, on these maps, on this, on these, these districting okay. lines, the the map that that predicated you and three other Republicans taking your seats that helped the Republicans take over the House was one drawn just in time, essentially for the midterm elections. But it was it was drawn by a special master that was appointed to create something essentially that wasn't gerrymandered for the purpose of politics. Correct. This is the most competitive map in the country because it's fair. A special master appointed by the court uh, looked at the map and drew maps that were uh, compact, that were not based on, on politics. And again, all of these districts, including mine, it's not like there's some you know, right-wing districts. These are districts that Democrats uh, lead in enrollment and Joe Biden won by 10 points. Mm -hmm. But we ran strong campaigns. We were on message with respect to crime, with respect to affordability, with respect to immigration, the issues the American people care about. The Democrats' uh, policies are what caused them to lose. I know you're not going to want to say, oh, under a newly drawn map that they're proposing, that we're going to lose. I, don't, I think everybody always wants to retain hope and optimism and confidence. But that being said, you, you're saying the way the special master drew the more neutral map was already a Democratic lean, and you guys won anyway. So what's the new map? If it was, if it was a lean left before in the way it's drawn, the new map would mean what for your seat? Well, the map the Democrats drew last year that was ruled unconstitutional would have knocked Republicans down to four seats. So looking at the fact that we're at 11 currently, uh, they're doing everything they can to flip these seats, not through an election, but through a gerrymander. And that's what's wrong. And if people want to support me and ensure that we hold the Republican majority, they should go to LawlerForCongress.com. That's LawlerForCongress.com or text Lawler to 85007. All right, Congressman Mike Lawler, thanks so much. Thanks. It's uh, so sometimes redistricting and gerrymandering, it can be so seemingly inside baseball, but it's huge on the implication of who runs this government. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.